people realized. But when Elon Musk said there are still elements Tesla hasn't revealed, he wasn't talking about marketing. He was talking about aluminum. While all eyes were on lithium and the promises of solid state, Tesla was already blazing a completely new and silent path toward a battery that would not only surpass all previous ones, but would render even the most recent advances obsolete before they reached the market. The name of this new energy heart is Omega Core. And yes, it's real. It exists. And its numbers are so absurd that even experienced engineers turn up their noses at first. The first thing that jumps out at you is the energy density. We're talking about 1.1 TNT, Wachukrans, a figure that simply crushes the 272 Wachuk of Tesla's current 4680 cells. It's like comparing a candle to a nuclear reactor. With this density, the 2021 Tesla Model 2 will carry the same power as a Model S, but with a total weight lower than that of a compact car. It's like putting a rocket on a skateboard. The engineering behind this isn't just an evolution. It's a quantum leap in every sense of the word, literally. The secret lies in a concept called vacuum graphene lattice. Unlike conventional batteries, which store energy in chemical bonds that degrade over time, Omega Core uses quantum states of electrons. This means that, instead of physically rearranging atoms, it manipulates the behavior of electrons within a stabilized field. The result? Zero structural stress. Zero expansion. Zero contraction. What was a chronic problem in batteries, physical wear and tear with each charge cycle, has been completely erased. And what about the useful life? Here, the numbers seem like a joke. They are 11,000 full charge cycles keeping 90% of original capacity. In terms of projected range for the Model 2, this equates to 4.4 million miles. An average American driving about 12,000 miles a year would take more than 360 years to completely consume that battery. We're talking about a battery that literally lasts longer than the car itself, or even longer than the person themselves. This changes everything in the economic game of mobility. For the first time, a battery stops being a disposable component and becomes a multi-generational asset. Imagine a car you buy today, drive for 20 years, and then pass on to your child with the same battery. And then your child does the same. This completely transforms the logic of maintenance, resale, and even manufacturing itself. Tesla may even produce fewer vehicles, but each one with a much longer and more sustainable life cycle. Another direct impact of this absurd energy density is on the efficiency of auxiliary components. With less weight, the car requires less effort from the engine, which means more fuel economy, more speed, and more range. But contrary to what one might think, this isn't just an advantage for passenger vehicles. Trucks, buses, even electric aircraft all become natural candidates for this new technology. Omega Core wasn't born to be just another battery. It was born to be the new standard. And like any change in standards, it comes with skepticism. After all, how can something be so efficient, so durable, and so revolutionary at the same time? The answer lies in the design details, which were developed in collaboration with MIT and other leading institutions. It's not magic, it's physics. But of a kind we're only now beginning to grasp, quantum physics applied to materials engineering. Omega Core is the first real fruit of this union. If before it was lithium that dominated the conversation, now it is aluminum, a cheap, abundant, and surprisingly efficient material when manipulated with atomic precision. And this changes the global equation of electric mobility. Countries with less access to lithium now have a real alternative. The production chain becomes decentralized. Dependence on monopolies is reduced. And the final cost of the car plummets. The 2026 Model 2, with this battery, will not only be an affordable car, it will be a declaration of energy independence. Even with all this power stored in a lightweight structure, the real surprise lies in how this battery handles its surroundings. While conventional batteries collapse in extreme temperatures, 
The Omega Core behaves as if it were at home in the scorching heat of the desert or the freezing cold of Antarctica. It operates with complete stability between 80 degrees C, C, E, 250 degree, something that simply doesn't exist in the current market. This puts the Tesla Model 2 in a class of its own, capable of handling environments where current electric vehicles would literally melt or freeze to death. This extreme performance is possible thanks to plasma conduction layer. Unlike traditional batteries that use copper collectors, Omega Core replaces metals with ionized particles, which conduct energy with virtually no resistance. This eliminates the main culprits of overheating and loss of efficiency. Instead of relying on the thermal movement of ions as with lithium, conduction is achieved by electromagnetic fields, meaning it doesn't depend on temperature to function. This detail changes everything when it comes to reliability. And it's not just about thermal safety. This plasma layer also contributes to a reduction in 48% no weight compared to the Model 3's current LFP battery. This represents not only a gain in range and speed, but also a significant improvement in the vehicle's dynamic performance. In other words, the Model 2 will feel lighter, more agile, and more responsive to drive. Less mass also means less tire wear and reduced road impact, which even influences aspects such as noise and comfort. Another key factor in this new approach is the elimination of unstable chemical reactions. The Omega Core system does not depend on chemical bonds to store energy, but quantum states of electrons, as already mentioned. This means there is no risk of chain reactions, no production of dangerous gases, and, most importantly, there is no thermal runaway phenomenon that scares battery engineers so much. The car doesn't explode, catch fire, or swell. It just works. When you're thinking about driving in 45-degree heat or leaving your car parked in a freezing garage, this technology proves vital. With Omega Core, you no longer need to worry about battery failure, loss of efficiency, or the need for expensive cooling or heating systems. All this complexity disappears because the battery structure is already designed to handle the unexpected. It's as if it were armored against the thermal chaos of the real world. And then comes a detail that goes unnoticed by many. Quantum conduction between layers of entangled electrons. This is the essence of stability. The energy flow between these layers is so efficient that it virtually eliminates heat generation. There's no longer that typical heat generated when charging a cell phone, for example. Everything flows so precisely that losses become negligible. This not only reduces energy consumption, but also increases the durability of the vehicle's electronic components as a whole. This type of conduction is new, even by advanced engineering standards. Traditionally, electrons are moved through circuits with physical resistance, which generates heat and limits their speed. But when you connect quantum electrons in an entangled fashion, they begin to behave as a whole, what we call a collective quantum conduction. This creates a barrier-free path where energy is transmitted with near-perfect fluidity. It's as if you've created a highway where traffic never stops even when all the cars are moving together. But Tesla didn't stop there. If the Omega Core already seemed like the stuff of science fiction with its absurd density and superhuman thermal resistance, the next step was even more audacious, turning the battery itself into a active power source. Instead of relying solely on chargers or stations, the Omega Core is able to feed on the environment as if it had a life of its own. This is not a metaphor. The battery actually collects energy from the air, from the vehicle's movement, and even from simply being in urban areas. For the first time, an electric car stops being just a consumer and becomes energy harvester. This feat is possible thanks to two systems that operate in synergy, the ambient ion collection system and the call kinetic flux coil. The first captures very low frequency electromagnetic signals present in the air such as Wi-Fi, radio, cell phone signals, GPS, and converts them into small amounts of electrical energy. Doesn't seem like much, but it's not. 
With thousands of invisible micro antennas embedded in the bodywork, each tuned to specific bands, the car can capture up to 12 kHz kilowatt per day just by existing in the modern world. This represents enough energy to even 100 days of light use without needing an outlet. Meanwhile, the kinetic flux coil acts as an advanced version of Faraday's law. As the car moves, it interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, generating electric current through special coils on the axles and in the vehicle's metal frame. Even when stationary, thermal variations and vibrations, like the wind hitting the bodywork or the natural expansion of materials, generate microscopic movements that activate the system. In other words, the car recharges itself, stopped, driving or sleeping in the garage. The impact of this is enormous. In cities with high signal density, like metropolises packed with cell towers and Wi-Fi networks, the car can gain more energy than it consumes in daily use. This means that for those who drive less than 50 kilometers per day, there is a real chance of never need to charge your car from the socket again. And even in suburban areas, Tesla's tests showed daily gains of 2.3 to 4.7 kilometers at night, enough to add of 15 to 30 clout of autonomy while you sleep. This reality calls into question the entire infrastructure that was being built to support electric cars. Charging stations, home chargers, superchargers, all of this becomes secondary to a battery that it simply recharges itself. Mobility no longer depends on the power grid. It's as if each car now has its own energy ecosystem, autonomous and uninterrupted, adapting to the environment like a living organism. This changes the way we think about transportation, consumption, and even urban planning. And the most surprising thing is that this is not a theory. Tesla has already tested a prototype under real conditions, recording 8,000 C to 900 kilowatt driven without any cable charging. Everything was recorded in a normal urban environment, with the car absorbing energy over the course of days during normal use. The battery maintained its levels, and in some situations, it even exceeded the daily consumption. This means that even without sunlight, without movement, without any electrical outlets nearby, the vehicle continued to gain autonomy just by being in contact with the world. This behavior creates a new kind of relationship between the car and time. It's no longer a race against the battery. Now, time is your ally. Every minute stopped, every street you cross, every second of existence represents an opportunity to recharge. And the more you use your car, but it feeds on the environment, creating a cycle of energy abundance. Range anxiety, one of the biggest obstacles to mass adoption of electric vehicles, simply disappears. The idea that you need to recharge starts to sound archaic. In practical terms, this turns the Model 2 into a car self-sufficient, especially in urban environments. Of course, there are limits. Long trips in regions without significant electromagnetic presence will still require some planning. But in 90% of real-world use cases, the need for external recharging becomes the exception. And the more the planet urbanizes, the more efficient this technology becomes. In this sense, Omega Core doesn't depend on the future. It accelerates the future, shaping cities and behaviors around them. With so many advancements combined, what underpins this entire structure needs to be equally extraordinary. And that's where architecture comes in. Omega Loop Shape. This design choice has nothing to do with aesthetics. The battery core was designed as a continuous circuit, mimicking the symbol of the Greek letter Omega with a single intention, maximize the active surface and eliminate internal bottlenecks in energy conduction. It seems simple, but the impact is enormous. This format has increased in 340% contact area with the electrolyte, which means greater efficiency, faster load exchange, and less risk of localized failures. This continuous loop avoids the traditional bottlenecks of rectangular batteries. 
In conventional cells, electrons must travel in straight, limited paths, where any small obstruction can compromise performance. In Omega Core, the energy flow is distributed throughout multiple simultaneous routes, like a city full of parallel roads, where traffic never stops. This not only improves efficiency, but also strengthens tolerance to physical damage. Even if part of the system suffers an impact or microcrack, the rest continues to operate normally. The inspiration for this type of structure came directly from SpaceX's Raptor engines, more precisely from the spiral cooling channels used to balance extreme temperatures in rockets. The logic was the same. Distribute heat evenly along curved surfaces, avoiding peaks in thermal and mechanical stress. By applying this concept to battery engineering, Tesla achieved something unprecedented, a thermally self-balancing cell without the need for over-the-top cooling systems. This represents a huge saving in energy and components, but the real leap forward came with the collaboration between Tesla, SpaceX, and the MIT Applied Materials Laboratory. From atomic-level simulations, scientists discovered that curved surfaces at the nanoscale created quantum tunneling effects, a phenomenon that allows electrons to literally pass through barriers that would be impossible in flat structures. This reduced the energy required to activate electrical flow, allowing the battery to operate at full efficiency even in negative temperatures. That was what was missing for architecture to become functional in any environment. Another essential component was the introduction of the flexible glassy electrolyte, a semi-solid material that can maintain structural stability under pressure, vibration, and deformation. Unlike the ceramic electrolytes used in other attempts at solid-state batteries, this new material does not crack, does not break, and does not compromise the system. This means the Omega Core can withstand severe impacts, such as light impacts, terrain vibrations, or even natural body aging, all without losing its energy integrity. Our Fidifi. To handle the intense movement of electrons, Tesla eliminated the traditional use of copper collectors and replaced them with a plasma conduction system, which we have seen previously. But here, the difference is in the integration of this layer with the Omega Loop. The plasma moves within microscopic channels just 50 nanometers wide, stabilized by magnetic fields generated by the vehicle's own structure. In other words, the car literally keeps its own energy channels aligned while operating, without the need for external hardware. This synergy between form, material, and conduction resulted in a system that acts like a battery and a capacitor at the same time. The Omega Core is capable of release energy instantly, like a supercapacitor, but also store large quantities for long periods, like a traditional battery. This opens the door to features previously unthinkable in electric vehicles, such as explosive accelerations without performance drop or ultra-fast responses in emergency situations. But what really defies known logic is the internal vacuum graphene energy storage system, an innovation that combines the principles of batteries and capacitors in an almost surreal way. At the heart of the Omega Core, Graphene oxide plates are separated by multi-layer vacuum chambers, where electrons can move without any atmospheric resistance. This not only reduces energetic friction to virtually zero, 